on the search for rice. Haven't had anything since breakfast. Somewhere here, there's got to be a restaurant. This is neat, these uh, rotating things. I've never seen that in any market anywhere to keep the flies away. What a great idea. Usually the uh, meat is uh, swarmed upon by flies. Isn't that neat, Bart? Where's the pigs? Oh, geez, let's have a look at that guy. Uh, oh, you, you don't like that? Oh, it smells. Oh, well. Interesting selection of eggs. So starting with the smallest, it's 35 baht, 37, 38, 40. And uh, what do you think these might be here? Maybe quail eggs. Quail eggs or some bird eggs. White, uh, white eggs. Pink eggs. Now, what? These are from flamingos. Or <laughs> what, what, what might they? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. And uh, these are snacks. Look at these. These fish. They're. Uh, and these. Wow. Oh, nice chicken breast. That's about something we can identify with. And they, these chickens actually bar, but they look actually nice and brown, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Meatballs. Bacon. They're not IKEA meatballs, are, are they? No. 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 Bacon. Bacon Hot where? Box. Where bacon right, right there? Hey, there's Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken type of thing. Now that's liver. That looks good. That is Ooh. what I hate. And liver. hearts. What do you mean? Would you Ooh, eat that? I would eat that. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah. Look at these. these. At the end of uh, the main street in uh, Cheng Sin, uh, one comes upon this sign: uh, "Welcome to Cheng Sin, Land of the Golden Triangle." And uh, behind us is the mighty Mekong River. And the last time we saw the Mekong was Barbara in Luang Prabang. Uh, Luang in Laos. In Laos, yes, our favorite place so far, right? So uh, far. So far, Luang Prabang was the surprise of the trip. Although there have been many surprises, but Luang Prabang was particularly precious. By the Mekong River is the uh, Cheng Sen Immigration Checkpoint. And just across the river here is Laos. Beautiful Laos. One more look at the uh, Mekong in the distance and uh, the commercial street along the river in Cheng Sen. Here's some information about uh, getting to the Golden Triangle by boat. And uh, it's not too difficult to figure out where those three countries meet. Right there, Golden Triangle. Myanmar, the former Burma, where I'm probably going to go to in a couple of weeks. Laos. And Thailand, the famous historic Golden Triangle from beautiful blooms to colorful tuk-tuks. <laughs> to just plain relaxing. Cheng Xian is a laid-back place. Another view of the uh, Mekong towards the Golden Triangle, towards uh, Luang Prabang. And that's Laos across the river. Yeah, La Laos directly across. And uh, we notice in the hold of that uh, boat there, those boxes right there with the red and the green on them. Those are water boxes. We just saw those being unloaded way up here on street level and there's no conveyor belt to bring them down there.
seem to have the right idea in Thailand, but there appears to be a bit of a problem in execution. Mississippi, this is the Mekong, is uh, one of the world's great rivers. And there's no mistaking this for the Mississippi. This is not a gambling boat, a Mississippi gambling boat. But this is something that you get onto for a viewpoint of the Golden Triangle. However, speaking of uh, Mississippi gambling boats, just over there, I don't know whether I can catch it on the Laotian side, is a casino right off in the distance. There is no gambling in Thailand. More of this uh, boat with the Buddha on it. <laughs> Looks like it's a lot. Even at the Golden Triangle you find elephants. People posing on top of the elephant. That's a lot smoother ride than what Barbara and I experienced uh, two days ago. We're approaching the Golden Triangle for the very first time in our lives. It's always an element of excitement about it. You see a sign, Barbara? Right there, yeah. All right, let's go look at it. And that solves the mystery of what's where. It's pretty clear. Thailand. The river parts, Myanmar and Laos. From this spot to this spot. Well, Barb, what do you think of your first visit to the Golden Triangle? Well, uh, I'm pointing at the piece of land that's Myanmar, the former Burma. Out across the Mekong River is Laos and there's lots of casinos over there because, like I said, Thailand doesn't allow gambling. And on this side where we're standing, we're in Thailand. Lots of activity along the waterfront down there. Uh, it's a smaller river called the Ruak or something like that. And you said May is a prefix that means river? I believe so. Is it Mekong or? Mekong is the Kong River actually. Okay, good. Good. Are you thrilled to be here? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. The only context under which I've ever heard about the Golden Triangle was under the drug context, and uh, I see here this bench has been donated by the United States Drug Enforcement Administration, the Royal Thai Police Narcotics Suppression Bureau, and the Sensitive Investigative Unit, Bangkok. There are a million stories about opium and drugs in this particular corner here. Unfortunately, I don't know a single one of them.
I'm uh, surprised is what's happening on the Miramar side as you follow the shoreline up there seems to be something right up there I even see uh, sort of uh, bus like vehicles there seems to be the end of the tourist stop <clears throat> baffles me completely why they wouldn't <clears throat> at least build a boardwalk or something so people could walk right to that particular point how good would that be right to that point where Miramar and something like standing in Point Pelee National Park, the, uh, an area that I grew up in where you could stand right at the very tip and you could literally say that you were in Canada's southernmost point. Right here at that point you can see you're at one of the ends of Miramar or Burma. How cool would that be? These flowers whose name shall be determined later, Barbara? Yes, I'll have to do a Google search on the flowers, but I know we have them in Victoria in the summertime. They bloom beside the Empress Hotel and also in some flower boxes right at the corner where the, between the legislature and the Empress at what? Belleville and Government Street. And what city are you talking about? Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Canada's prettiest? City. City of gardens. Such is the scene along the uh, Thailand Myanmar border. Very pleasant here. The temperature is just lovely at about 27. It's about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, share a coffee. Why not? Let's go for it. This is a great, great view, right? There's a table right, right here. Why don't we sit down and have a coffee? What a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? All right. <laughs> Good. So... Here's Lobo at the Golden Triangle. What is your impression of this place? Well, first of all, let me raise a coffee, a good <laughs> coffee, a good uh, Thai coffee to the Golden Triangle. Uh, I'm kind of surprised at what it looks like. It looks so peaceful and pastoral. You're drinking to it too? Okay. Cheers. I, uh, I'm surprised how close I am to, uh, to Myanmar. I expected to uh, sort of uh, be here and say, well, off of that mountain over there, that's Thailand, and that mountain over there is Burma, and uh, that on the horizon is Laos, but it's not like that at all. It's very close, and it's quite a touristic spot, which belies the, uh, the history. Barb is waving me off that I have too long. So